Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another building video here in The Sims 4. Now this is the highly requested Apple Store. Pretty much ever since The Sims 4 Get to Work was announced, people have been asking me to build an Apple Store. Uh, and that's fair enough because uh, they are pretty awesome stores in real life. They look pretty sweet. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's give it a go. Because I mean, uh, I also promised I was going to do like a basement build at some point. And I, I will do, a, I want to do a house uh, basement build as well. But for now, we're doing a basement build with the Apple Store. So this is obviously inspired from uh, the New York Apple Store. The, uh, I don't know what, which one is actually called. Because there's a couple of Apple Stores in New York. But obviously the iconic Apple Store in New York, where they have that glass cube above ground. And then you go down, I think it's actually spiral stairs that go down inside that one. I've actually been to that Apple Store before. That uh, It's just by, it's by, well, it's by one corner of Central Park. Is it on 5th? It must be on 5th Avenue. Where else would it be? I don't know. Anyways, if you just search Apple Store in New York, it'll literally be the first result. Uh, so I just took that that very simple uh, uh, sort of glass cube idea from the uh, the top level and did that. Now, as you see, I originally did uh, use, like, I removed the ceiling and I did that small fence there to simulate windows. The only problem with that is it actually makes the lighting uh, a little bit dodgy, especially on the inside. I thought it would be okay. Uh, I, I was going to roll with it for a while, but then when I actually started putting ceiling lights in uh, into the basement, uh, especially at nighttime, the lighting just wasn't right. It, it seemed just way far too off. Especially, like if you look at it here, uh, and we start putting the lights in, it just has a weird kind of lighting. It is nice that it sort of brings all those sort of outdoor shadows uh, that you can see on the ground there as well. I thought that looked pretty cool, but it just didn't work as well as I would have liked it to. Uh, so I ended up just putting the flooring back on the roof of it uh, to, you know, make it look not too shabby. So now I'm trying to find a sign because, you know, Apple stores, they always have the big white apple uh, hanging in just inside the glass somewhere. Unfortunately, there's no big white apples in this game. Uh, also, a lot of those new neon signs, I was hoping I could use one of those, but they don't scale up. Uh, so instead, I, I just used one of the new sort of shop posters. Uh, this particularly uh, science-y, I don't know, kind of one. It was the one that fit the most. There's no electronics slash computer uh, poster uh, that would fit that well. So I went with that one. I mean, it still looks pretty cool. It gives the same sort of effect as this is the sign for this particular store. The Apple store in air quotes, because it's not really an Apple store, of course. But I'm pretty sure that there would be, and I'm probably, I'm going to say 100% certain that there's uh, like, Apple uh, custom content for The Sims 4. There probably is, but uh, I, I don't I don't tend to use uh, custom objects in my game, uh, mainly because the main reason is that I create a lot of builds that I then share with uh, you guys. And this is the same reason, the main reason uh, in The Sims 3 as well, is just because I, I build and share so many creations trying to uh, account for where all of that custom content comes from. Like I'd have to link to the website so you could download it. Uh, and if I just had all this custom stuff, I wouldn't know where it came from and it would just be really confusing. Uh, so I tend to just uh, stray away from custom objects and just use what comes in the game. Anyway, that's my reason for it. Now I had a weird thing here and you'll, you, you would have seen it just then uh, when I was removing the floor tiles uh, to expose the grass. I was trying to put plants and objects on it, but for some reason, no objects wanted to place on the grass. Uh, it was really, really weird. It just wouldn't let me place any of the objects on the grass, uh, even with move objects. So what I en ended up doing is just using the grass floor tiles and put the trees on it, because, I don't know, it just wouldn't let me place on the actual grass. Uh, so I thought on the top level, because it's basically just going to be concrete, um, why don't we make it into like a little plaza kind of thing where you can come sit down, hang out, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, which, again, I I'm pretty sure that's what it is in New York. Um, it's a pretty cool place. You should go to the Apple Store. I think just across the road from that is uh, like a, a toy store as well. That was pretty cool. I think I was there in 2009 is when I was there. Fun fact. Uh, also irrelevant. But anyways, yeah, so just a little plaza up here, a couple of benches. Uh, I got a couple of bins in here in a moment as well. Uh, so I thought, yeah, I, I thought I didn't want to leave the top blank because that's going to be kind of boring. Uh, the unfortunate thing about this is... Uh, when you look at this house in the gallery, or this, this sorry, this store on the gallery, which by the way, download link in the description, as always. Uh, when you look at it on the gallery, the picture of the front of the build just has a tree in front of it and you can't see anything. <laughs> it really doesn't do it any justice. It, it's the same sort of problem that happened with my tree house build, where you, all you could see was trees and not the actual house. Uh, which I wish they would just let you uh, specify a custom image for your display picture. Like, I don't know why they don't let you do that. Uh, hopefully, I, I presume that would come into it at some point, or at least I hope it does, because that would be beneficial to everyone. 
Uh, yeah, so on, yeah, this is where I decided, uh, cause when I put the flooring in, that's when I realized the colors and the sort of lighting is way off in that sort of basement area. So I thought, hey, let's just put a roof on this. Uh, let's just make it some sort of concrete, uh, roofing. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, at some point in the game, uh, if they add in some transparent floor tiles or something like that, then, then you can supplement it. Uh, so here we are in the basement, also known as the Apple Store. Of course, with the Apple Store, they like to keep it pretty simple. So I've gone with that sort of light uh, wooden flooring and we're going with these light uh, wood tables as well. Of course, they have a pretty massive, uh, if you've ever been to an Apple Store, about, I guess, these sort of double-sided tables. I mean, they're not. Uh, in, in The Sims 4, they're double-sided tables because I've put in a bunch of tables. But in reality, they have these large tables and just a stack of computers on them, a stack of iPads, uh, iPhones, all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, there's no iPhones uh, that you can put on in the store. And uh, But anyways, so I basically do a bunch of computers and the, uh, the slablet. Now, I was trying to figure out a way, and you can see me doing it here. I wanted to put lights underneath the desks because it was kind of dark in that area and I didn't want to overcrowd the place with ceiling lights. Uh, I was trying different things here. I wasn't happy with it. Um, yeah, I don't know. And so in the end, I used those new get to work lights, chucked them on the walls at the very top. So they're pretty discreet, especially when you're playing the game and you have the walls down, you won't see them at all. Um, and even when the walls are up, they still, they still look pretty good. So we started off with these pretty fancy computers here, uh, new, just beautiful glass. Uh, and this lot, I don't know. I think one of the computers is, I think it's the, uh, the most expensive computer you can see in that little uh, catalog down the bottom. This this lot ends up being six hundred and twenty thousand uh, dollars. It's super expensive. The computers are worth a lot of money. Uh, so I mean, if you do open this as a family business and start selling some computers, then you will be pretty rich pretty quickly. I'm going to imagine. But uh, of course, you could replace the items with whatever you want. It doesn't have to be an Apple store. You could put whatever items and chuck them on sale. But I, I've just uh, kitted out the place with a bunch of computers uh, to get you started and give that Apple-y vibe. So now I'm just sort of moving the tables around trying to, you'll notice a lot of positioning going on here because I'm using the smooth placement, uh, which if you don't know how to do that, it's really, really simple. Just hold down the alt key on your keyboard. It's just next to the start button or on Windows or the command button on Mac. Or maybe it's not next to the command button on Mac. It's somewhere down in that region. Uh, actually, hang on. Give me a second. I have a, uh, a, a Mac keyboard. Just over here. here we go. Just in a box. A little bit unorthodox. I've never, I don't think I've ever left the chair in a, in a building video before. Uh, yeah, so the, the alt key on a Mac is actually to the left of the command button or the right, depending on which side of the keyboard you look at. So there you go. I've got function, control, alt, and command. Uh, anyways, that was pretty big deviation from what's going on. But yeah, so that uh, a lot of people always ask how you sort of smooth place or rotate items. That's how you do it. Uh, that 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 works for all objects. It works for windows. It works for roofs, like getting the angle just right. It works for uh, I don't know. I guess that's it. Objects, roofs, and. Uh, yeah, well, that's everything and Windows. That's, that's pretty much everything in the game. Uh, so yeah, that smooth place works pretty well. Uh, so I wanted the counter area to sort of be, uh, I guess, kind of genius bar like. Uh, it's not. It's not exactly the same because I guess genius bar is just on the flat wall at the back. Uh, but this lot didn't actually have a bunch of room. Uh, so I kind of just I, I shoved in the 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 counter there. I kept it black. I thought it looked kind of kind of nice because there wasn't any uh, appropriate counter that I, I was happy in a lighter color so I just went for the black. I uh, got the Apple store sign behind there of course. Now just adding in like a little storage room there. Uh, if you don't have it already you should go get the uh, the locking doors mod for your game. Uh, it will be linked in the description down below because uh, I have a, a link that says the mods I use. It will take you to my website and it lists the, the mods I have in my game right now. Uh, and one of them will be the door locking mod or if at some point in the future it's already in the game then it won't be there. But anyways, uh, you should go check out that mod because what it allows you to do if you haven't been watching my Racks to Riches series uh, is that it, you can lock doors to prevent customers uh, enter, entering staff areas. So you can then lock that staff room or that, that sort of storage room uh, so they won't be able to get around to the counters or to that storage area, which is pretty cool. So you can do like, you can actually make like a staff room or something like that. However, uh, your your staff, your employees won't be able to get that. Only uh, Sims in your household 
uh, we'll be able to get through there. I mean, I presume, uh, I haven't checked recently, but I presume that the mod author is going to uh, be updating it over time to allow more options. But right now, that's how it works. But it's pretty awesome. And I highly recommend it if you're running a store and, and you're, you're living on your lot and you don't want uh, Sims coming into your house. It's really, really useful. Uh, so a bunch more table placing here. Uh, getting that smooth place in. It takes quite a while. Now, there's one thing. Actually, I'll, I'll wait till we get to it before I talk about it. <laughs> It's kind of, it won't, won't really make sense if I start talking about it now. So in Apple stores, they always have, first of all, they have all these giant tables everywhere for the computers and the phones and the tablets and all that kind of stuff. Then they also have like pretty much a one or two walls uh, filled with shelves that have all this sort of accessories and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm doing here. We're getting the accessory wall. Now there's a really big problem with this in The Sims 4 and that is there's no accessories to put up there to sell. There's no phones uh, in the game, like because you just have mobile phones and you can't sell mobile phones, so we couldn't do that. So basically, my choices were whittled down to antique clocks, or that's it. Uh, <laughs> there's no electronic accessories to put there. What I ended up doing, and you'll see me doing it here, I actually get those CD stacks uh, right here. Now, yes, I get it that CDs are completely, you know, sort of outdated. I mean, people still buy them, don't get me wrong, but I mean, for an Apple Store setting, CDs are pretty much outdated. And you wouldn't be able to, you, there's no way you could buy CDs at an Apple Store. Uh, but I had to put them there because that's really the only thing that made sense in like an electronic store, uh, especially for something like being an Apple store where it's about music and that kind of stuff. Now, the secondary thing I was doing here was putting the stereos in and I thought that was a great idea. And it was until, because I'm using move objects to place all of these, uh, when I adjusted one of the walls, all of the stereos disappeared. And let me tell you, it took me so long to put those up there. And I figured your Sims probably wouldn't be able to buy those anyways because they're sort of glitched into place. Uh, so I didn't end up putting them back. Instead, I just turned that whole shelving area into CDs. And you will see that in the screenshots at the end. Uh, it is a little bit disappointing, but um, that's just the way it turned out. I mean, I guess you could get... Uh, you, actually, you could even do that. You could get some tables underneath those shelves because there's a little bit of space there. Um, so you could do that. Yeah, those are alien computers. That's what that's what did the price. If you, if you notice, the price went up by a couple hundred thousand as I put in those alien computers. Um... <laughs> But hey, you'll make a killing on profits with those. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, as I was saying, you can put the tables underneath those shelves and put the stereos on that. It was just kind of a shame that uh, they all disappeared. You'll, you'll notice it happened because I chuck in uh, some bathrooms. Uh, and that's, I'm pretty sure that's when it happened. And I didn't notice until it was too late to like undo it. Uh, of course, we've got a bunch of mirrors in there to make it look nice and large and, and bright as well. Uh, but that's pretty much the, the, the sort of basis of the Apple Store. It's a pretty simple build. Uh, it was nothing too extravagant, so that's why I decided to uh, to do it because I I generally don't do sort of requests that are something I wouldn't normally do if they're going to take me a long time. Like I wouldn't normally recreate like an Apple Store or I don't know what some other store. I wouldn't normally do a recreation of something. Uh, but this didn't take too long to actually build. I think it was like about an hour and. 20 minutes or so to, from start to finish really because it's a pretty simple concept and it does look pretty good uh, in, in the end. Uh, I'm not complimenting myself though, I'm complimenting Apple on their, their sort of store designs. It looks pretty good, it's simple and it's effective and I think it looks really good in the game as well. So I was like, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good idea and a lot of people have requested that. Uh, but as for something that would take a lot of time to replicate, I, I generally wouldn't do that because if I'm going to spend a lot of time on something, I'd rather be it be my own creation than uh, something that's replicated, if that makes sense to you guys. Uh, but that's just sort of my view on that sort of matter anyways. Uh, but yeah, so I've actually done two bathrooms. Now, the bathrooms in The Sims 4 are actually unisex and there's no door that prevents uh, a male or female going into either one. However, if you get that door locking mod I was talking about, you can lock certain doors to only allow female or male sims. Therefore, you can actually turn those two bathrooms into uh, gender-specific ones, which would be pretty nice and a little bit more realistic as well. Uh, now, those vending machines don't stay there. I wanted to put vending machines somewhere so your sims could eat, but... I, oh, actually, no. Yeah, I, do, I did put them in. I put it in the... I just put it in the store in the end because there's really nowhere else I could put it. But I wanted it there because if you're at the, the shop for a long time, I wanted you to be able to get a snack or something. But here we are in the screenshot. So pretty simple up the top. You get that just that sort of apple -y vibe, just that glass cube uh, in the expanse of Beautiful concrete. Although I did put a few uh, things in that plaza there so your Sims can hang out and there's something to, to sit at and uh, do up the top there. So we're just going around the outside. Here we are about to enter the store. 
So we're jumping in now. Get a nice little angle down there. I think that looks really cool, sort of looking into the basement and you can see all the products. I thought that was, I thought these are some pretty cool shots here where you could see all the stuff down there. Uh, just having a few rotations there. Now, the only problem is, uh, well, it's not really a problem. The reason I did all the shots from this center bit looking, I love that shot there. That one's my favorite. Uh, the reason I did a bunch of shots from there is because once you go into the basement to take pictures, you can't see the upstairs. As you can see, there's just a black void upstairs. So that's why I took a bunch of pictures there so you can see it all together. Uh, anyways, yeah, so here's the shots of the inside of the store. Like I said, it's pretty basics, pretty, uh, standard stuff. Uh, but it did... It's a little bit tedious to set up yourself if you don't want to do that. And I think it looks pretty sweet in the end anyways. Uh, but yeah, so we're coming to the end here. So of course the download link is in the description down below as always. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you all have an awesome day. Ooh, there's the end. Right there.